Hi friends, welcome to the Windows 10 tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to configure multiple IP addresses on a single interface. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you do is that you right click on this network icon in here. So this is the one that I'm talking about. Once you do that, then click on open network and sharing center. Once you click on that, then click on this option in here that says change the adapter settings so once you click on that then you will see a list of all the interfaces on your system currently i am using a virtual box so it's a virtual environment in which i am running this windows 10 machine so it has only one interface however in your computer you might have multiple interfaces nowadays most computers come with a most laptops at least come with a wireless network so you might see those see that one as well in here so the thing is that it doesn't matter how many interfaces you have just select the one that you want to change uh, or select the one on which you want to configure multiple ip addresses usually you know which one it is by the name of it it's an ethernet written in here so this is the ethernet interfaces sorry this is the internet interface not interfaces now in order to change it uh, you have to right click on it and then click on properties this is one way of doing it Another way of doing it is by clicking on this, double clicking on Ethernet, so in here, and then click on properties. They are both the same. So right click on it and click on properties, or double click on it and then click on properties. They both bring you to this window. So what you do is that you double click on, uh, sorry, you select IPv4 and click on properties. This shows you the window with which you can configure it, or you can just double click on it. It shows you the same window. So these are the different ways of doing it. Whichever one uh, you feel easy or comfortable doing, do that one. Now in here, notice that uh, you can only and only configure multiple IP addresses uh, on an interface if the first IP address is configured statically. Uh, now you can see in here, if I click on this advanced, so if I click on advanced, I will be able to add multiple IP addresses. However, now you can see that it says DSCP enabled. So whatever I do, I can't do anything. I can't add it. So what that is what uh, you have to do is that you have to set uh, the, an IP address statically first and then the other ones you can add manually. So the first important thing is to have a static IP address. So let's add a static IP address in here. I will use 192.168.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
10, 10, 104, and the other one is 192, 168, 43, 104. So both of them we configured uh, statically. It also shows that it has um, a couple of uh, default gateways, which we also configured statically, which is 192, 168, 43, 1, and then 10, 10, 10, 1. Now, one thing, other thing that I forgot to mention was that uh, you can also um, add and remove these so, or edit them. So let me go again. Uh, let me click on advanced now you can also if you click on this and remove or edit it or whatever you want add another one so you can add um, uh, as many as you want uh, so it doesn't you don't have to just uh, add two you can add multiple interfaces as uh, as well so this is it for this tutorial guys um, i hope you found it educative and uh, if you have any questions or suggestions recommendations feel free to put them in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one